Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and this video is just going to pick up where the last one left off, and we're going to continue talking about the files that came with your Omega 4. And this video in particular is going to talk on a few more files that are mostly configuration files and things like that. So if you're not going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff, you might not need to get into these files. Um, and if you just want to learn about what they do, feel free to keep watching and see what other files have come with Omega 4. Now, we also have templates and templates doesn't really include anything right now however if you need to override Drupal templates they'll be going inside of this templates folder if you were to look at the ohm example or the drush exam or the uh, Omega 4 base theme you'll see that inside of here there's folders with things like node or something and inside of that are our actual template files. So what's cool about this is that you can throw folders with template files in here and override your templates that way, keep them nice and organized instead of just having a folder full of, you know, template files. And here we have your theme folder, which is going to contain your theme overrides. And uh, down here we have this, uh, actually let's scroll out so you can actually see the contents of some of these files. We have this Bower RC file and really what this is doing is saying uh, it's using Bower which is a utility that basically grabs JavaScript components from the web and pulls them into your site. Uh, it manages libraries sort of like how Ruby Gems or Node Package Manager does and you can basically keep uh, a listing of all of your uh, plugins or libraries that you're using in a file and you can say Bower go get all of these and it's gonna go get them and throw them in your libraries folder and it's gonna throw them in our libraries folder because this is already configured to say directory libraries now we don't have to use Bower for anything right now and uh, you might not ever have to use it in this project but it's there if you want it and it's a nice utility to learn now we have a git ignore file and if you're uh, version controlling your uh, theme on git uh, or with git I should say uh, you could use this git ignore file that comes already in here and it says what to ignore you know it says to ignore the sas cache because yeah we don't want to have the sas cache in git it creates a bunch of cache files that just stack up so of course we don't want that now we have the js hint uh, RC file, which is basically a configure file for uh, JS hint. Basically, JS hint uh, has a whole bunch of options that you can pass to it so that it, when it checks your code, it knows what your code is like. And so these are all of the options. You can go to JS hints website and see exactly what all these options are doing. Now we have a Ruby gem set, and this is naming your gem set. It's Omega dot level up Omega. Um, and you might be wondering why we have Ruby anything. Basically, to compile your uh, SAS code using the extensions and stuff like that, the, uh, the compilers are actually written in Ruby, in little Ruby applications called Ruby Gems. So if you don't know Ruby, it's fine because we're not going to have to write any Ruby. All you have to know is that uh, Ruby is being used to compile your code here and you'll have to install some things to get that working, but it's really no big deal. Um, and it's, it's really not difficult or anything. So don't worry about that for now. Don't worry that it says Ruby. It just is. Now, next we have our bower.json file. And now we actually, uh, when we said in bower before, we just say what, what libraries we want to use and go get them. Well, this is exactly what that file is doing. Notice how it says we want response, selectivizer, HTML5, shiv. Uh, and this matches exactly what we have in our libraries folder. So if you wanted to run the bower command and you didn't have these in your library file, uh, you would run bower and it would... Um, drop these into your libraries folder. Now we have our config.rb and this is a Ruby file. And like I said, you won't have to edit this because this is already configured. This is basically just telling SAS what sort of to do. It's gonna require some stuff like SAS globbing and uh, it's gonna require some stuff, right? It's, it's no big deal. And if you don't wanna have to modify this stuff, you don't have to. But if you use SAS before and you know these configuration options, this will be really nice to get in here and maybe, you know, change your SAS directory or change the output, uh, the output style from something other than expanded. Um, so that's great. 
and our gem file this is almost the exact same thing as bower.json but for ruby gems so these are all of the wonderful gems that omega 4 is using and when you run a command uh, bundle it's going to go and grab all of these from rubygems.org and it's going to install them on your system so that when you are running your guard command it's going to know how to compile everything now we have a grunt file which grunt is sort of a similar thing uh, grunt is basically it's a task runner for javascript it's going to do things like compiling your sass and stuff like that and it gives you the option of using a grunt uh, pre-configured here within omega 4 if you would like i personally am just using this guard command and guard file is going to be pretty much the same thing but for guard and you'll notice it's triggering live reload at the end here now we have our info file which you've seen before and this is a standard info file if you want to add a region you add a region like normal we can go over adding a region in a later video now we have a libraries.make file which this is a drush make file if you run drush make it's going to automatically download these libraries and it's going to throw them in your libraries theme notice how it says alternatively you can use bower so when we said, you know, Bower does this, this is going to do the same thing. Uh, what's really nice about Omega is they give you different options. Um, if you're familiar with Bower, you can use Bower. If you want to use Drush Make, go ahead and use Drush Make. And you can add libraries to this file and in perhaps create your own sub-theme of Omega that when you run uh, your your make command it's going to go and get these libraries that you use for your particular sub theme it's really powerful now of course we just have our logo we have a package.json file which is a grunt configuration file that's basically uh just be it's just going to say what what uh grunt plugins you need and stuff like that so we don't really need to worry too much about this if you're not using grunt you especially don't need to worry about that and we have a template.php, which if you're familiar with Drupal theming, template.php should be normal. Basically, it overrides pre-process as well as process and alters hooks for the level up Omega theme. So if you're doing some hook functions in here or whatever, uh, it, pretty much the standard stuff you would do in template.php, maybe you need to override something before the page is processed. Now we also have a theme settings.php and this allows you to hook into the theme settings. So it allows you to modify the Omega base theme. So basically uh, it says you should look at the extensions concept in the Omega base theme. And that's actually a great idea for most of this is if you're confused about something, look at the Omega base theme and see what's going on there. Or even look in Ohm and see what they're doing. And it might make sense of sort of how things are normally. So it's really great. It allows you to modify Omega as a theme. And basically, Omega gives you a lot of options and it's extremely powerful. So this is the files that you get with Omega. That's it. So that's it. And if you're confused about what any of these files are doing after this explanation, don't worry because we're going to be using all of these files in various videos and you're going to be, uh, you know, totally comfortable uh, getting in here and building your theme by the time we're done with this course. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.